hello again after a little nap I'm back and I'm exploring the inner city of Milan and I'm astounded that here there's a Chinese bank in the middle of the city if that's any indication of how many uh, Chinese tourists normally come into the city I'm pretty glad that I'm here during times the Chinese tourists are not allowed in here let's turn the camera around for you guys wow it really reminds me of the of the train station that I showed you earlier today it's truly magnificent I mean of course there's um, all those international reputable luxury brands like Prada Louis V and at the very end the golden arches that you can see here but look at the look at the floor check out the mosaics wow Well, I think I'm the only one here not wearing a mask. Let's put on the mask then. Oops. Well, this is the Cathedral of Milan. One of the most impressive structures and the fifth largest cathedral in the world. And also Europe's second largest cathedral. I mean, look at this, it's crazy. And when Napoleon came to these lands in 1805, he was crowned the King of Italy here in these halls of the cathedral. And um, what's impressive about this cathedral also is that it took 600 years to construct it. And they started the construction of the cathedral in 1380 or something. And it took to the mid 20th century to finish it. This wow almost got attacked by a pigeon I'm just gonna go around here so you guys can see how enormous it is here's a uh, Bugatti Chiron the world's most expensive car I guess just casually standing around let's check it out maybe it would this would make a good thumbnail Let's see where it is going. Huh? I can tell you, I'm impressed. <laughs> Check out these trams. Am I trespassing here? Maybe I am. But I just enjoy to be in the shade at this point. It's so hot, it's got to be like over 30 degrees Celsius. Well, I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. It's the afternoon now and it's very hot still. So I'm gonna see if I can find some um, real Italian street food down at the canals. And I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Let's see where we go. I think I'm gonna take the metro. What a devastation. It looks like I just missed the market. This is the Latin American district of the city and it is home to the biggest fruit market in the city. And um, yeah, I just missed it. I got too involved in watching the soccer game that was just on TV <laughs> that I missed the market and now those poor guys have to clean everything okay on my hunt for street food I've come here to um, the canals of Milan and I didn't know that but Milan also has canals here in the Navili district 
that look a lot like the canals in Venice. They were also built to help the uh, transportation of goods from local um, lakes actually to the city. There's lots of lakes around the city and for instance they were used to bring the marble used for the building of the Milan Cathedral. So um, yeah, now it's very lively, especially at this time of the day. Let me, let me just get here to have a little more peace and quietness. Well, and um, of course today the, the canals are not longer used for the transportation of goods. I mean, unlike in uh, Venice where you can literally see mail and uh, stuff like that. DHL, bringing mail um, to individual houses and and so on logistics let's check out though if I can find a <laughs> a place with real Italian street food so if you want to become a real chef you can buy the real Italian hats I have arrived at the famous pastrami sandwich shop here let's check it out okay I have the biggest beer ever and it actually tastes very good. <laughs> the Italian number one. And then I've got here my pastrami sandwich. And I'm going to show you guys. Hang on. Look at this. And here actually some tomatoes. Some tomato pots. Okay, how do I put this up again? Alright. Okay, let's try this then. I'm very hungry. And it's just bread and meat. Just the perfect the perfect um, food for me basically. Just as I like it. Okay, let's give it a go. Mm. Really nice. Pastrami is actually originally from Romania and um, it came to the United States from Romanian Jews in the Second World War. And I believe it's actually a misconception that pastrami is from Italy and even I fell into this trap but it tastes very good it has been a while since I've seen so many people out and about minding their own business and now I'm searching for a place to have pizza and um, have a quiet night Watch some more soccer games. I'll see you guys in the next video.